So get a load of this. I'm with Peter the other night and he says to me, he says, so he says, I um, saw your video on your book launch. <laughs> I thought, oh boy, here it comes. He says, yeah, he says, uh, that was really something to behold. The fact that you used a Times Roman font, I thought I was just gonna fall out of my chair. And then you told me about what a nice spine it is and that the book covers all gloss. He says, I'm sure a lot of people really liked hearing about that. <laughs> okay, I accept your challenge, Peter. The book was written over a period of one year. It's called, well, that's the way I see it. And it originated on YouTube in the community section with some of the articles that I wrote. That's where the idea came from. I've been writing articles like this for quite some time, years actually, and I signed them off by saying, well, that's the way I see it, or maybe that's the way I see it. At any rate, that's what I did. So I've taken those articles, I've reworked some of those articles, and I've also written some more. And I put 80 of them into a book. And the purpose of the book is to encourage people when they're feeling down and people are so busy and who isn't feeling a little stress these days with being locked in a room <laughs> and, and you can't get out because of all this virus nonsense, but that's what's happening. That's our life. So the idea of the book was to encourage people who are really busy. So encouragement for busy people is the byline on the book. And so I know you're busy, I'm busy. And I think of the people going to work and they're on the bus and they're heading down to the city or they're on a train going into the city or coming out. Or, and, and maybe they've got a Kindle edition or they've got a paperback edition and they wanna read something. The articles are different. Uh, what hit me on that particular day and I just thought you would be interested in some of this. And I've had so many people respond to me that they really liked the articles, that they spoke to them, they inspired them. Some of them said to me, gosh, that's just what I needed today. And that really touched me. And I was really encouraged by the responses that I was giving. And that's why and how I ended up selecting these to put into the book. The number of 80 is, of course, that I've turned 80. And so it was one chapter or one article for every year that I've been around. <laughs> what, what could I say? So there you go. That's what the book is about. Now, I have made a couple of updates to the book uh, since it was first published just over a week ago. The Kindle versions get updated automatically, but not so on the uh, print version. And that will be available probably later tonight and you'll be able to get that if you want it. So thank you very much for your support. I hope you are encouraged by what you read in the book and I hope it inspires you. I really want people to follow their dreams and follow their passions. Life, listen, I know at 80, there's not very much time ahead of me. So when I look back, I think, gee, do I have any regrets? I don't want you doing that. You want to take advantage. If you're in your 30s, your 20s, your 40s, your 50s, get out there and do something that you want to do because bang, this life could be gone in a hurry. Don't let that happen. Don't let that happen. Take advantage of the time you have. Follow your dreams, follow your passion, and go after it. That's what the book is about, trying to encourage you to do that. Maybe it's making a guitar. I don't know. Check out the channel if you haven't already. Anyway, that's it. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button if you like this. And thank you very much for being here. And I will see you in the next video. Probably downstairs working on the guitar. But right now, you know what I need? Oh, Peter will shoot me if I don't. And this is the book. <laughs> what I need right now, obviously, is a cup of tea. So I'm heading out that door and I'm going to get myself a cup of tea. You do the same thing. I'll see you later. Bye for now.